Hey everybody, I'm Ronald. I go by the trail name Low and Slow. I'm going to do an AT uh, hike this year. Not sure how far I'll go. I'm just going to go as far as I can. If I go all the way to Katahdin, that's fine. Um, I'm going to do a What's in My Pack. Not really trying to do a review here. You can Google some of the things that um, I talk about as I go over what I've got in my pack. And um, let's get started. Okay, for my pack, I'm going to be using a Granite Gear uh, Crown 60. It's a great pack, uh, very comfortable. I've had it for about two years, a little over two years. Um, I've added a few attachments. It does lack in that department. I've uh, found that the, the uh, front mesh pocket's a little bit small, um, particularly for doing the AT and where you're going to be out for a long extended time and, and rains and stuff where you need to put a lot of stuff that's wet and you need to dry it. But it's not too bad. Other than that, the pack is excellent. I'm going to be using a um, Marmot um, Hydrogen 30 degree bag in a Cedar Summit 8 liter dry bag, a Thermarest Neo Air 12 ounce, can't beat it, a um, Big Agnes Seed House 2, I like a, a two person tent just so that I can bring a lot of my gear in at night or during rain or whatever and deal with uh, packing up and makes things really easy. Uh, tent poles, thermarest seat pad. Um, for a kitchen, I'm carrying a Ziploc so that I can do uh, ramen and stuff like that, pasta sides, pour it in there. I made a uh, cozy for it. The pocket rocket um, in a Z-Pax little uh, stuff sack packs down really nice. Um, I like to try some other stoves. This is a good stove. It's worked great for me a couple of years. I don't like the points sticking up like that. Uh, Bic lighter, Vargo titanium spoon. A uh, Snow Peak titanium pot and lid. The thing I like about it is I can put two canisters of fuel into it if I need it. That's great. You know, you start running low, buy an extra one to keep from running out on the trail. Just pop it in there. When you get one that's empty, you just discard it. A um, couple of smart water bottles full of water. I like the flip tops. It makes it easy using the uh, squeeze, the soya squeeze of a 32 ounce bag to go with it. The uh, soya squeeze, uh, you can take this cap off of the smart water bottle, screw it right on, or you can use the, this portion of it and backwash that. No need in carrying the big syringe hypodermic needle. I have a windscreen for uh, windy days cooking and if there is a piece I really really enjoy taking and it's a total luxury item is this right here. It's a Hydro Flask stainless steel bottle. It does weigh a lot but I can make uh, 16 ounces of coffee in that thing in the morning and it'd be hot for four hours. It won't last that long because I'll drink it. And I'm going to be packing a uh, platypus 2 liter. I'll probably never put more than a liter at dry times in it. Um, if I find I don't need it and just end up using the uh, soya bag, 32 ounce bag for carrying dirty water and filtering it, that's what I'll do. My gear bag, it's uh, a Z-Pax Cuban fiber. A uh, couple of earplugs just in case I need them if for some reason I get stuck in a shelter. Uh, patch for my Thermarest air pad, sleeping pad. Bear bag line. I'm really torn about carrying this particular one on a, a long extended hike. I use it a lot on short hikes. 
I really like it. I can hang a Volkswagen with it. I, however, I won't need to be hanging Volkswagens with it, but um, it's just easy to toss over a limb. It's easy to pull up. My entire pack are a couple of food bags. Black Diamond, um, headlamp, just a cheap Casio watch to keep up with the time. I'll be using uh, the Jovi um, little tripod to be able to hold my iPhone. I got a, <coughs> excuse me, a stick pick coming, just some extra cord, may or may not take that. This is really handy, it's titanium. Digs really well. TP, no need to explain that. A uh, few first aid items, just a few uh, hiker crack, you know, believe, a little bit of Tylenol PM, a couple of Tums, Advil, first aid pack, a few band aids, and a, a couple of things in there, a little bit of mole skin. Toothpaste, toothbrush, a little bit of dental floss. Excuse me. A um, Dr. Bronner soap, just a little bit of Dawn dish soap, and a pot scrubber. Hopefully, I won't need the Dawn in that. This is what I call my poop pack. It's something I have done for many years, being out in the woods, and I always stick an extra lighter in there so that I have an extra lighter. Although I keep one in my cook kit, I do. Um, stick this in a, a cargo pocket on my pants. A lot of times when I'm just out hiking, I don't have to dig into my pack looking for toilet paper. Okay, I have a, a Avery. Um, it's a 6400, I mean Anchor, not Avery, excuse me. Anchor 6400. I can charge my iPhone 5, which I keep in um, airplane mode. I'll be doing all my video on it, headset, in case I want to uh, have some quiet time and listen to some music or whatever. A recharger, it's an anchor recharger. It will recharge my battery, which I'll use to recharge my phone. Um, I can stay out for well over a week with this and this. AT Guide, wouldn't go with anything else, uh, it's great. I also use the uh, AT Guide on my telephone, it's really handy. You can use this at night, pull it out, do your serious studying, and I keep a pen with a highlighter on one side, pen on the other. Moving on over here, this is um, my Mont Bell Ultralight. Um, Parka, they call it a parka because it's got a hood. Cocoon silk uh, mummy bag liner. Cocoon uh, inflatable pillow. The old handy dandy, yeah, wipe everything. And pack towel for sure. You get to hostels or streams or whatever, want to take a little bath, voila, wipe off. Rain jacket, outdoor research. Rain pants, may or may not take those, haven't decided yet. I can use this as uh, well as rain and wet, but as a wind break, uh, make a wind suit out of it. Um, Gator Girl, Gators, they're awesome. Very light, very easy to use. They do a great job. You can uh, ride them up high, use them on a hiking boot, or you can use them on shoes. Um, darn tough socks. I've been using these for a while in lieu of using Smart Wool for hiking. Smart Wool are um, somewhat more comfortable, but they just don't last quite as long on the trail putting in mileage. So, um, what can I say? These things, darn tough, they're wonderful. Flight gloves, been using them for years. I like them. This is kind of a new pair, I've been just using for a little while. Buff. It pretty well. You can get these in a lot of different colors from Buff. They're great. They're the same ones that make them for Survivor. Excellent piece of kit. 
All right, Black Diamond, um, Alpine, Flick Locks. Not much to say about that. Brooks, Cascadia. I've used Brooks shoes for a good while. I've gone through some of them. Um, these are first Cascadias I've had. I've used really running shoes for hiking in before, but they are kind of thin and um, more for running than start carrying, uh, you know, much of a load. Camp shoes. These are just a cheap pair I picked up, made by Redhead. They're lighter than Crocs. They have a Velcro closure. One pair of the uh, darn tough hiking boot type socks that are longer, as well as the crew. I'll take two, uh, two pairs of crew. I like to double these up, where put this one on, then put this one on when I'm walking. It's a lot of padding along with the Brooks shoes. You talk about comfort, you got it. A smart wool, wool beanie. It's a real thin, kind of a micro light, ultra light hat. Um, with it, as well as the cap I've got on Outdoor Research, it's, uh, you know, it's gonna keep your head warm. Your head and neck represents about 65% of body loss. Throw this in, it's great. Smart wool, micro light, uh, this is the uh, 150, I think. I like those. They're really warm. If um, you just got this on and you got some wind going on, it's uh, it will just go right through it. You'll need to put on uh, like a windbreaker or something. Um, base clothes, just some cheap stuff from Target. It's light, polyester, what can I say? Briefs. There's my other ultralight. Um, I like hiking in these. They're uh, just cheap. I buy them on sale at Bass Pro again. A pair of REI long pants. I did not go with um, the zip off pants and leg situation. And I'll stuff it all in a two liter um, Cedar Summit bag. Okay, so much for all the gear. Um, all of this gear is subject to change in a moment's notice. As I said, I'll be leaving uh, April 4th uh, from Springer. I went up and did uh, from Big Stamp up to Springer during the uh, 2015 last month or this month, whatever it was, um, Appalachian Trail kickoff. And um, so I'll be starting from black stamp going up a mile back down, probably slack packing that, being I've already done it with my pack, and uh, heading towards Blood Mountain and uh, Neil's Gap Mountain Crossing. I'm looking forward to meeting some of you guys, hopefully um, getting more input on uh, gear maybe that I have. I've learned a lot from people who have gone before me. Um, I've enjoyed people like Will Wood and uh, Loner to uh, 2013 AT. Um, great guys. I've learned a lot from them and some of the people out on the PCT about what gear they're using for long-term um, hiking on the trail. So hopefully I'll get to meet you. I hope to run into some of the guys who are hiking the Warriors who have come back and, and uh, just, you know, some of them having a tough time after being in war for so long. I certainly hope there's a couple of them who've just left from here locally. And uh, I hope to run into some of them and get uh, wisdom and knowledge as well as in give encouragement to them and be able to thank them for the freedom we all enjoy. Anyway, goodbye for now and uh, I'll be uh, seeing you soon. Happy trails. Thanks.